Hello everyone, today we are going to look at another example on simulation. Here is a store called Sinkim's Hardware Store. This store sells a product called Ace Electric Drill and it wants to evaluate the cost of its current inventory policy. There are two main uncertainties that is related to this product. First is the demand. The daily demand is uncertain. Second uncertainty is simply the orderly time. So the orderly time is simply the time between an, an, an order is placed and the time the order is actually received. For example, if you have Amazon Prime, when you place an order with an Amazon, you, you will receive the order in two days. That two day is the orderly time. Okay, so in this example, the orderly time is uncertain. And the company actually provides you historical demand data and order lead time data to proceed. The store opens 200 days a year and there are three costs that are related to inventory. First is an ordering cost. So the ordering cost is simply a fixed cost per order. So this is like your handling fee per order. Second cost is an holding cost. So this is the cost of keeping your inventory. So you estimate that the cost is $6 per product per year or equivalently it's three cents per product per day. The third cost is the lost sales. Lost sales are simply demands that you cannot fulfill. For example, a customer comes to the store demanding for a product and you say sorry I'm out of stock so I cannot fulfill your order and then the customer walk away. That customer becomes your lost sales. So every lost sales is estimated to cost the company $8. Let's assume that the store currently has 10 products. Okay, So you're going to start your simulation with 10 products in your inventory. You're going to conduct the simulation for 10 days and use the simulation result to estimate the total cost for a whole year. So the total cost is simply the sum of these three costs. Now let's talk about how are we going to approach this problem. First of all, there are two elements that exist in every simulation. First, there's uncertainties. In this example, the uncertainties are demand and the orderly time. The second element in every simulation is some kind of performance measures or performance metrics. So the purpose of conducting simulation is try to estimate or evaluate some kind of performance metrics. In this example, that's a total cost. Okay, sometimes you will have more performance metrics that you want to measure. Sometimes just like this one, you have one. We're going to use the same framework we introduced earlier to approach this problem. We're going to start off with the data. The data on demand and orderly time. So the data will allow us to construct the probability distribution of those uncertainties. And then using those distributions, we are going to simulate those uncertainties and build a model to find out the cost. Okay, so we're going to simulate for 10 days and eventually measure the total cost over those 10 simulated days. 